One of the interesting things about being uh, a pastor um, is just a variety of interactions we have with people. And in our case, you know, we've been doing this for... About you know, 30 years. About 30 years. Mm -hmm. So between two of us, 30 years of interacting with uh, people, you know, you begin to learn a few things. And one of the things that I remember learning probably, I don't know, within the first five years of ministry, is that whatever assumptions uh, we have, um, they're not universal. I mean, nothing's universal, you know. Um, you know, everybody loves a hamburger. Well, that's not true. Everybody loves bacon. That's not true. No matter what you say, there's always an exception. Mm -hmm. One of the exceptions that we were talking about earlier today is uh, the assumption that everyone thinks that Christmas is this happy time of year. Don't we even have a song for that? We do. There's a song that goes something like, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Well, and then there's somebody that hears that song and just it just makes them sick. Yeah, and um, it makes them sick. And for many people, it just makes them really sad because uh, when it seems that when you're told that everyone's supposed to uh, be having a wonderful time during the holidays uh, and you don't feel that, um, you feel even worse. You feel even worse. You think maybe there's something wrong with you, uh, that uh, there's this void in you that... Um, yeah, how come you're just, not happy like everybody else mm -hmm. seems to be happy? So um, we just wanted to talk with you about the fact that mm, maybe you're in that situation. And we just want to say to you, that's okay. Um, we, we have seen many people who have losses. Uh, maybe they've lost their spouse, um, a child. Uh, maybe their circumstances are, happen to be really difficult this year and they're not able to um, give their family the Christmas that they think they should be able to give to their, their family. Uh, and that, uh, for some people, uh, Kind of kills their joy during the season. Yeah. And then on top of that you have people who maybe grew up in difficult situations and Christmas wasn't a, a, a good time. You have people who um, have uh, maybe many years ago have had losses but they happened at this time of the year. You have people who maybe are lonely because uh, maybe they've outlived everyone, or maybe simply because their loved ones can't come to them. And, and I, I, I suspect this year in particular. I, I think that this year uh, is going to be much more problematic because um, many, many people have families, but um, they're isolated from them in order to look out for the health of one another. Uh, so uh, we're thinking that this year, more than usual, uh, there may be uh, a lot of people just feeling like this isn't such a wonderful time of year. Yeah, and so the, why do we tell you this? Well, Pastor Sheila told you the first reason, and, and that's simply that we just want to acknowledge it. I think that there's, a, there's something healthy about saying we get it that this doesn't feel like maybe it's felt in the past, or maybe we get it that you're not in a mood for, you know, the festivities, the, the, uh, and being merry and being happy, uh, and you're and not excited about getting gifts or receiving gifts. Totally get that. But but I think there's a second reason. The second reason is simply that some of you are very happy and and feeling festive, and you got big smiles because you're thinking, ah. Oh, Christmas and gift giving and food and, and family. And cheery music and oh, the holiday specials on TV. Yeah, we watched one Hol yesterday. Holly Dolly Christmas, yes. But sometimes in our excitement, we, we forget to be careful or kind or aware. 
I think uh, the word is sensitive to people who may not be feeling the same way that we feel. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't require a lot, but I do think that there's something important about um, recognizing you family and friends who find themselves in uh, a struggle. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and just uh, acknowledging to them you know, I know this is a hard time of year for you, if it's a, a time when you've lost a loved one, or if you are alone after having uh, many, many years of being uh, married, uh, and Christmas just isn't the same, uh, you don't feel like decorating. Yeah, and um, you know, there's nothing worse than maybe feeling like you're with a friend or a relative or someone you can trust and you, you're honest and you say, you know, I'm just not feeling this Christmas mood. I'm, I'm, I'm not just that not happy. feeling the holiday spirit. And for someone to turn around and say, oh, come on, just, uh, you know, it's Christmas, you should be happy. Um, that's, that's not really that helpful. Sometimes it's more helpful to say, you know, I get it. You know, it's, it, it's different or um, I understand. Um, I, I still wish you the best, but I understand that we, we can't all be happy I don't know, it's weird. We can't all be happy at the exact same time every year just because the calendar says so. And, and so this is our way of just uh, encouraging you to um, be kind to each other, but also encouraging you to, if you're that person that is struggling, to say, um, we do get it. And we've seen it many times. And um, You're just, you're just an important person, and, and that's really the thing that matters the most. Not that it's the holiday, but that you're important, and that this is a season that we celebrate that in God's kingdom, even when we're sad, we're still important. We uh, pray that this season, whether you feel the uh, happy, joyous sentiments of the commercial season, uh, we want you to know the peace that Jesus brings. That doesn't mean that you have to feel all happy and giddy, but mm -hmm. we do pray God's love and peace for you this Christmas.